y'all what's going on this is jamie Marie of jamie Marie brooklyn so today i am making a video last week there was all this talk about um can health insurance companies uh charge more for those who refuse to get the vaccine and um i was reading this article and it talked about how insurance companies really don't ask about being vaccinated with anything so you know um so like if you go get life insurance they may ask you if you have a std high blood pressure uh smoke things like that how much you weigh they might ask you those questions you know do you engage any risky activity like uh skydiving things like that because things like that could could cause you to die prematurely. So if a woman is supposed to live to X amount of you know years and she loves to skydive, well, the chances of you you increase your chance chances of dying because you're taking that risk. You're jumping out of a plane, okay? <laughs> so you're increasing your risk of dying. So they ask those questions as far as health, um, according to like HIPAA and uh, the the Affordable Cares Act from like 2014 that Obama did, they're not allowed to ask you any questions. Like the only thing they can really ask you about is do you smoke and um, maybe how much you weigh. So like that was one of the things every year because it's, it's open enrollment season, it's coming up and they'll ask you do you smoke because they can charge you more because you are, if you're a smoker, you are smoking you know all kinds of everything in your lungs and it increases your chances of getting lung cancer dying just just all kind of issues y'all know so that's the only thing they're really allowed to ask you they're not allowed to ask you um if you've been vaccinated so could they charge more it seems like the answer is no but what company, what healthcare companies can do is instead of punishing those who refuse to get the vaccine, they could reward those who do. Okay. So companies, health insurance, they have um, like wellness programs. So like every year at the hospital, when we, open enrollment, we will go and um, like to get like money off of your uh, premium, whatever, we would go down to the employee health, we would get weighed, and then they had this survey, ask, you know, your cholesterol and, and your blood pressure and how much you weigh. It would ask the same questions, how much you weigh, cholesterol, blood pressure, um, do you exercise, you're depressed, whatever, whatever. Mine stayed the same. <laughs> My answer stayed the same all the time. Ain't nothing changed, okay? Okay, I might have lost five pounds, okay? You might. Okay. Um, I did eat better after I had my health issues. I did eat better. I did lose weight. I probably lost about 20 pounds. But, uh, yeah, I got it all right back. So, mine really stayed the same. It, it never really changed. My blood pressure was always high because I, I took medicine for it. So, But uh, I'm, I'm a person that holds stress in, Okay. You know, I, I I get mad. So when I, I, I'm one of those, I hold it in and then I explode. I'm one of those people. So, um, you know, they ask you those questions and then if it's within their range, you get a, they reward you. You know, they'll reward you taking money off your premium, your, your monthly, whatever you contribute. They also have, um, where like we had a supplemental. So like I have a, I have a supplemental. Uh, insurance, so like I have accident, critical, hospital, all this stuff, you know, that I pay privately. Some of it I pay through the hosp the job because I could remember. So some of them I got double policies, the same policies, and um, but like if you go get a mammogram, you can submit, you know, you pay for it and everything, and then you submit the paperwork, and then the insurance. So it's supple one was supplemental, one was the health insurance. And I just submitted the proof that I got a mammogram and they gave me like a wellness check. I, I got money back. So I got like $300 last year. I want to say it was last year. 
and because I submitted, because I got I had two of the same policies, so it I just you know, hey, both of y'all gonna pay me, and and that's what they did. So they can reward people if they wanted to, they can reward people for getting the vaccine, but as far as punishing people for not taking it, I don't know. I mean, I don't know if they got made laws or whatever for that, but. The way it stands now, from what I understand, that only smokers or people who are like severely obese will who pay higher premiums just because, you know, because of their lifestyle. Um, I did read that they had said that they were asking people if they were uh, vaccinated but they was it was more towards the people who are high risk. I think I want to say it was a life insurance company, and that was for people who were more high risk. So people who were more who who are obese and things like that. Because we know COVID. I mean, I'm not saying all, but I'm just saying a lot of people who are dying from COVID or you know things like that, getting it real bad. They they got issues. We we all know that. Okay, we're not, we're not dumb. We we know they got issues, and so. Uh, they were asking them if they had maybe taken it. But uh, as far as a company, uh, a insurance company punishing people, I mean, it could happen. Anybody can do whatever they want to do. I doubt it. But they can reward people for taking it. And um, I'm still team no vaccine. I ain't, ain't taking nothing. And um, so we will see how this plays out. I'm willing to pay extra money. I, I am because I ain't taking it. <laughs> Good. Yeah. but um we'll see how this how this plays out if you have any questions you can put them below you can follow me on my blog it's jamie Rebooklist. that's where i talk about being a health unit coordinator and i'll talk to you later bye